Does anyone in here go home every single night? Not 88% of the time. Every single night and read a book. Raise your hand if you do. Reading. Something that everyone needs to know how to do. But illiteracy rates are on the rise in our youth. And one sixth grade reading teacher has something to say about it. Each year, the, the students tend to come in a little farther behind grade level. So I teach sixth grade. So right now, um, I have a big majority of the sixth graders reading at fourth grade, a fourth grade reading level. And what is the reason for this? Cell phones, all of our students have them. They go home, it's in their hands immediately when they leave campus till they go to bed at night. So why would they pick up a book? Mrs. Franz notices which children are more targeted by this epidemic. Children that go home to a house where they don't have um, a strong set of parents or a mother or a father or an adult in the house that are there to monitor them, to guide them. So are there any ways to stop the rising illiteracy rates? Okay. I think that we need to stop giving cell phones to kids at such a young age because the minute you give that phone to them, you kind of lose them. As a mother herself, she has a few suggestions for parents. I think getting our kids back to the library at a young age would be very helpful. Again, building curiosities and questions and letting them go explore and, and grab topics that are interesting to them. Although the lowering literacy rates are discouraging, this teacher is still holding on to hope. I hope that our, our youth and our children continue to see value in reading and continue to develop a love for reading as well. I'm Taylor Franz for Canyons News.